We're here at the top of Adventure Ridge. I'm here with Liz Taz from Epic Discovery. Liz, we're not in Illinois anymore. We aren't. Tons of mountains around here. Liz is a fellow Midwesterner just like myself, and we're experiencing all the Epic Discovery activities firsthand, and you're kind of a local expert on these activities. Why don't you tell us a little bit about everything there is to be had on the menu of options for Epic Discovery? I love that you called me an expert. Um, so we have um, tubing, we have mini tubing, and we have adult tubing. We have uh, adult zip line, we have um, children's zip line, we have two rope scores, we have a full canopy tour zip line, and we have a roller coaster up here. Now let's start off with the ropes course just because it's right behind us as we speak. What is there to know about the ropes course as far as you know the activity goes? Some people may look at these ropes and say, wow, that's really high up there. Uh, that looks very scary. Uh, what should they be aware of? Should they be scared? They shouldn't be scared. We're du you're double clipped in up there, um, and there's people up there to help you throughout the whole course. Um, it's definitely challenging, but if you're up for the challenge, you should definitely do it. Another fun activity that I noticed that we were talking a little bit about earlier was the canopy tour. The canopy tour is something I think you could not find almost anywhere else, really in the world, or at least in you know, you know, a lot of the areas of the world, uh, the United States. What is there to know about the canopy tour? The canopy tour is pretty awesome. It's seven zips and ten towers. It takes about three hours to go on. Um, you go back in the Game Creek uh, bowls, and it is amazing. The scenes, uh, scenery is amazing. Now, when uh, Liz refers to the zips, she's referring to the zip lines that you'll clip into, and you'll ride this metal, kind of this metal wire, if you will, from one space to another. I know some of them are over a hundred, hundreds of feet long, uh, and you're above the ground, up to 70 feet in the air. I can't even imagine what that's like. Yeah, you definitely go 65 miles an hour, too. So you're going pretty fast, but um, it's definitely worth it. It's about $189, um, and it's an all-day activity, and then you get all the other activities as well. Wow, simply phenomenal. So with the fall right around the corner here at the Vale and with the weather that comes with that, we can have some inclement weather from time to time. What do people need to be aware of as far as weather closures if they're going up to Epic Discovery? I would definitely come early in the morning. Um, afternoons we usually get some weather um, and then come down to the base if we do have weather and we will definitely get you hooked up with a rain check or a refund depending on how many scans you have. Now will you guys close if it's just simply cloudy out, if you hear lightning, if you see lightning, what does it take? It's lightning. So if it is raining, we do kind of stay open if it's drizzling. Um, we definitely just close for lightning and moisture, pretty much. So if there is snow, which is always possible in September here in the high country, we've already seen snow at the very tops of the mountains. If there is snow, people can still frolic up here? Yes, definitely. Um, hopefully it's not too much snow just yet, but um, if it does snow, uh, we, do, we will stay open. It just depends on how much moisture is around. Okay, and then with the fall season rolling around right around the corner, uh, I believe it starts uh, pretty soon here in September, what will be the hours that people can plan for if they're heading up to Epic Discovery in September and into the beginning of October? So in September, we're open on the weekends and the first weekend of October. Um, so the weekdays we are closed, but definitely come see us on the weekend. And what are the hours? The hours are, um, we're open, activities open up at 10, and we go till 6, and then um, the ticket office is open up at 9, and the gondola opens up at 9.30. Wow, all sorts of great information. Before we leave today, what's a good website where people can find out about this, or a phone number? Go to Vail.com, or you can call our call center, which is 970-SKI-VAIL. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for joining us today, Liz. All sorts of great information. If you've never been up here, I highly recommend it. It's kind of one of those things where you have to see it to believe that there's so many different activities and fun to be had. After the break, we're going to show you what happened on Friday night at the Friday Afternoon Club. Down to Funk was the band, and Andres Apostol, our cameraman, was there to show you. Long before the came hydrogen oxygen. 